Now, now that we know what an acceleration is, we want to be able to come up with what an acceleration graph looks like if we have a velocity time graph. So in this exercise, we've got this velocity time graph, and we've got to figure out what its acceleration graph looks like. You know, the first part of ever doing this is to label your axes, and you also have to scale them, but you have to do a little bit of thinking before you can do that. So I know acceleration is on the left, and I know time is down here. And acceleration is meters per second per second. Oh, per second per second. Okay. Or I can write that as meters per second squared, right? Otherwise, okay. it's a velocity. Acceleration is not velocity. All right. Now, I said we have to do a little bit of thinking because we have to figure out what scale do I want down here. Now, I know my time. It's going to go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. But my acceleration, well, do I have an acceleration here? At the beginning, your velocity is just negative 1 meter per second, and you're not um, changing that velocity. So a horizontal line indicates that you've got no acceleration. Right. It's just like when I have a horizontal line on a position time graph, I'm not moving, so I have no velocity. Now I have a horizontal line on a velocity time graph. Now you graph. are moving on this one. But I am moving. But my speed isn't changing. But my speed isn't changing, so I have zero acceleration. Okay. Now, this next interval, how many, okay, there's actually an, a direction change here, right? Because we switched from negative, which down here we like to label this. If this is negative, we're moving towards, okay, the mm -hmm. origin. And if it's positive, we're moving away, okay? But I'm not interested in the direction I'm moving. I'm just interested in, is my speed becoming more positive or more negative? Okay, so from an acceleration graph, you won't be able to tell what direction you're you moving. You won't. Okay. okay, so we're looking at the slope, right? Because if we take the slope meters per second divided by seconds, it gets us acceleration. Gets us acceleration. Okay, and that slope looks to be like okay, over rise three, over run. up three. So three over three so is positive one. Positive one. So I'm going to need some positive acceleration. It mm -hmm. looks like there your slope changed to negative, so we're going to need some negative acceleration and some negative too. Negative acceleration, and I looks like I've got one and a half. So I'm going to start here at zero, and I'll go half, one, negative mm -hmm. half negative one. Alright, so I know that my velocity is not changing for the first two seconds. So for the first two seconds, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to graph zero acceleration. I have no acceleration. It's constant. Okay. I don't know how fast it's going. I do know how fast it's going. I don't know where it's at, but I know it's going at one meter, negative one meter per second, and it's not changing. Okay, and the slope is zero, so you just basically graph the slope. I just graph the slope. Okay. And now for the next three seconds, the now slope. Now we said the slope was positive one, was positive so we kind one. of do a go up okay. to positive one. So and positive and one, and we're there. here. And then finally, last two seconds. The rise over run of oh, that was one is negative up here, two. isn't it? Oh, I went yep. by halves. Okay, so up here. Let's see, I think I have an eraser. Okay. All right. So for the last part, rise over run was negative half. Negative half. So that's here. Okay. All right. So we took our velocity time graph and we got an acceleration time graph. And we did that with slopes. We did that with slopes. All right.